Welcome back to Aliens. So in the last video, we have talked about arrays, right? And then we created an array. We were able to fetch the values with the help of index values. But then we only worked with the numbers, right? What if you have different types of data? What if you have string? What if you have different objects? And if you have different functions, can we add them here? Now there are two aspects here. One, the kind of data you're working with. And second, can we mix that data? Example, let's say I can say all names here. So I want to create a array of names and I can have different names here. Is it possible? Of course, right? When you can have numbers, can we have names of string type? Let's try. So let's say the first name is Naveen. And the only thing you have to remember is whenever you work with string, you have to enclose that in single quote and it should work. Uh, so I can say Naveen, uh, Kiran, and then we can say Chirag. Okay, so these are the values you have. And then there's no limitation that you should only have three values. I don't know why I'm entering only three values, but we can have uh, thousands of values, no, not an issue. So maybe Naveen, Kiran, Chirag, three values are here. And if you want to print all the names, I can simply print all the names. There's no harm in that. And you can see we got all the values. And of course, you can specify the index value to fetch one particular value there. And that should work. Now, what I want to do is I just want to add another value here. Maybe I just want to add one more name. Can we do that? So let's try. Now there are two options here. One, you can add the value here itself. We can say comma and then we can add a name here. That's one way. The other way is what if you have this array created and then you want to add a value later. In this case, you can say names dot. So in this case, you can say names dot push. We have seen that before, right? That's one way. Another way is you can use the index value. So we have Naveen, Kiran, Chirag. Those are the three values you have. Uh, so this is index zero. This is index one. This is index two. Okay, so now we can add a value at index three. And that value here is, let's say, Avni. Okay, so basically in total, we have four values now. Let me try that. And you can see we got four values. So this is how you can add a value. Of course, you can also use push. Uh, that's a method and this is another way you can do it so you can print all the values or you can print one specific value so this is one thing the other thing is can we have different type of data uh, let's say i want to have a data like maybe i can just say this is data let me just remove this let's say the first one is a string the second one i want to insert is a number can we do that let's say i want to add five no issue when you create an array there's no compulsion that data should be of single type it can be string numbers you can also have object let's say i want to get an object here can we do that yes i can say an object here and this object will have some values let's say technology is uh, javascript that's the object we have uh, the another thing we can have is a function we can also do that so i can say a function here so i'm creating a function you know why we can add a function is because function is object remember uh, so in this case i'm creating a function which will only print console log and uh, let's say hello world i know you can't see that in one line let me just take it on the next line uh, so you can see we got a data which is an array of different type we have a string a number a object itself and of course this object can have multiple properties just to keep it simple I went with only one and then we have a function here what happens if you print this oh we are not printing names we are printing data which is an array here and you can see we got everything we got a name string we got five we got object and we got a function can we call that function that's a question right uh, so function is at element what so i'm printing something right so i have to do that here maybe i will do that after printing it so i will say data and then i have to fetch that function which is at element three I mean, index number four, so in element three. And once you get that, you have to call it, right? So the way you can call that is with the help of this run package. And it worked. You can see that we got hello world. So this is working. Call, you can also get this object and you can assign to some other variable. You can try that on your own. And that's it. That's how you can insert the values in the array. And that's how you can create an array of mixed type. So that's it from this video. In the next video, we'll see some more methods. Like we have seen push. I will talk about shift pop unshift and those things so yeah that's it from this video i hope you enjoyed let me in the comment section and do subscribe for other videos bye, -bye.